This video is about the cooling system on a GM 4.3 liter V6 in a marine application. Uh, the cooling system is actually pretty simple and I uh, just wanted to show you this before I put this thermostat housing back on the engine. So basically the way it works is uh, your incoming seawater or river water or whatever water you're using comes in on this pipe using comes in on this pipe from the water pump mounted low on the engine. It comes up through here and goes into this passage. And this passage feeds into the top half of this housing and goes out to each of your exhaust manifolds. So your exhaust manifolds always have a flow of uh, cooling water when it's running, period. As long as the water pump's spinning, you're going to have water going out this pipe and out that pipe. However, the water also comes in here and inside, uh, it's kind of hard to show you. I don't know if you can see it down in there, but right down in there. There's a hole right about here that comes into this passage. This passage goes over and the water comes in through here, goes out, out this hole, down to the water pump on the engine, and then the engine water pump pumps it into the block and it comes back out, comes back out through here off the end manifold, and there's a circular there's a loop that goes there's a loop that continuously goes like this from the engine water pump out here, excuse me. Uh, out of the engine here back out to the engine there so and that's how it works so up until the thermostat opens once the thermostat inside here opens it lets off water it lets off the water that's in the loop of the engine and this loop lets it into here where it's exhausted out with the exhaust and then you have fresh you'll have fresh cooling water come back in here and get sucked back in so the engine pump is what keeps that going now the problem with this is that if you don't have a way for air to get out, the engine will be airlocked and it'll never fill up with water. But it just so happens there's a tiny hole. Alright, as I was saying, there's a tiny hole in this thermostat and it's kind of hard to see. It is right down there. Right. There it is, right. Right there at the tip of my finger. I don't know if you can see it very well, right in there. It's not very big, but that hole allows air to bleed out of this cavity into the top cavity so that it can, this cavity here and the engine can fill it with water. So this thermostat separates the engine loop from the seawater or river water exhaust cooling loop. And the only time they share water is when this thermostat opens to lead to bleed off the hot water in the engine over into this system where it's taken out with the exhaust. So it's really a simple system. Uh, I kind of like it. It's pretty neat. Um, so that's how the, uh, in the, I don't know what the thermostat, thermostat setting is. I imagine it's 160, but uh, marine engines tend to run a little cooler because thermostats are set lower. And uh, so this will keep the engine cool. Uh, the downside, as I've explained in other videos, is if, uh, if you have a if you have a leak inside your engine that's leaking water into your uh, in your engine into your oil pan or in your anywhere in the engine where there's oil, it's going to fill up with water because there's no uh, there's an endless supply of water coming. It will never run out of water, and uh, that's one of the dangers of having them, one of the pitfalls of this kind of system. They make marine systems that are closed where you have a heat exchanger that's uh, exchanging heat from the river water are exchanging heat from the engine into the river water so it's basically a, a heat exchanger it's got two halves to it a hot side and the cold side now in that system your engine loop is has a contained fixed amount of water and if you run low on that water then you'll know it because it'll start overheating so those in my in my mind if you have this kind of if you have this kind of system which is a one-way one-way cooling system you need to consider switching over to a uh, well, I'm trying to what they call it. I think they call it a seawater cooling system where it separates the seawater from the fresh water. So if you have an a inboard outboard, that's something you ought to seriously consider. So I'm about to put this thermostat housing on the engine and uh, tie it on to the exhaust and wrap this project up. Uh, when I'm done, I'll show you a video of the engine uh, right before I crank it up and then a video of the engine running. So I'm very close to having this thing done. Thanks for watching.